Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie, and in today's video I have a massive massive collective Disney haul. If you guys have watched any of my collective Disney hauls in the past, they tend to get pretty lengthy. So if you guys are interested in watching, feel free to pause this video, go get some tea, get some coffee, make yourself a snack, because it's probably going to be quite a long video, but I have a lot to show. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing all of the items that I purchased that are Disney related or items that were sent to me by companies that are, of course, Disney related. If you guys have any other questions or concerns after watching this video, just ask them in the comments below. And without further ado, let's just get right on into it. So we're going to start this haul off with a mystery item. I got a box in from Gifts from Mickey. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love Gifts from Mickey. They are a Disney subscription service and they are one of the, if not the best Disney subscription service in the game. This is their palace box, I believe it is, and I will link their website in the description below if you guys are interested in getting one for yourself. And I will also link a coupon code for you to save some money off of your first box if you would like to get one for yourself. So without further ado, I'm just going to rip this open. My self-control has been like really high because I haven't even opened up this box yet to like get a sneak peek and now I can't even open it, period. She does a real good job making sure that your stuff is getting from point A to point B very safely. And I was very tempted to open on up beforehand. Guys, I need to go get scissors because I can't open this up with just my hands. Give me one second. Box open. Well done, Allison. Give yourself a round of applause. We're off to a very good start. The first thing that I'm noticing when I open up the box is that there's tissue paper covering all the products, so the mystery is still kind of lingering. On top of the tissue paper, we have some special little extras. The first thing that we are getting is our welcome letter. I've read this so many times on my channel before, so I'm not going to read that now. I'm also noticing that we're getting some current guide maps, which is really, really nice. It is for Epcot. We have Hollywood Studios, we have Animal Kingdom, and of course, my all-time favorite, Magic Kingdom. And the last thing on top is a little button, and it says, I'm celebrating. And then she didn't write anything in over here, so that's kind of cool because you can write whatever you want in. And I'm gonna write in, I'm celebrating 300K, because I just hit 300,000 the other day, and that is insane to me. So I'm so happy to get this button on top. This is like a really, really nice extra thing to have because I'm gonna be celebrating something that is super, super special to me while wearing this button. Okay, let's get on into it. Oh my God, yes. The first thing that I am seeing, oh my gosh, she is getting something from Toy Story Land. She sent me something from Toy Story Land. Guys, I've seen these all over Instagram. It is the Slinky Dog Mickey ears. They're not really Mickey ears. It's like a Slinky Dog headband. Oh my God, look at that. That is so cool. I don't know if it tells you the retail value. It doesn't. I'm assuming these are like $25 in the parks. Look at this. I have wanted one of these for so long. I'm not going to Toy Story Land until the middle of September, and I really, really wanted to add this to my list of things I wanted to pick up because look how freaking cute. I'm gonna put them on for a second just to show you what they look like. <laughs> That's so cute, oh my God. See, like you're literally getting current things from the parks when you open up this box and I'm seeing something else that, oh my God, I'm like so happy right now. I just need a moment. Look at these ears, they're so cute. <laughs> Sorry, I got like way too excited about that first item, but as most of you guys know, I am a huge Toy Story fan and the curator knows that. With this package, you can personalize it to a certain extent. You can let the curator know your likes and your dislikes and she will do a pretty decent job at trying to follow that little formula and get things that are going to actually be meaningful to you like I just got. So I'm seeing another item in here that is probably going to be my favorite. As much as I like that first item, this is an item that I've wanted forever. So I'm going to save that one for last, which means I'm gonna grab my next item, which is all bubble wrapped for safety. And I think I know what this is. It is a Mickey Mouse Rice Krispie Treat, but it has like an iridescent glow to it. Can you guys see that? 
So it is a Rice Krispie Treat, which is like incredible. I'm absolutely obsessed with Rice Krispie Treats from Walt Disney World. They are the best out there. But this one has like Mickey ears on it. And then it has an iridescent blue, not holographic, but glitter like bow. And it looks like there's some edible glitter on there as well. I'm already freaking sold on this box and it's only been two items. I was sold on this box like way before I opened it because I'm obsessed with them. But these two items already just like sealed the deal for me. Next up, it looks like we're getting two more snack items. We are getting, I've never seen these before, Crunchy Peanuts. These are the Lorenz Snack World. I'm assuming these came from Epcot and one of the pavilions. I'm not exactly sure which one. I love peanuts, so I'm all about this. But I don't know what pavilion this is. It is called Knickknacks. Always fun to try some new snacks. I'll try these out in just a little bit. If you guys know what pavilion this comes from or what country this comes from, let me know. But we're getting some knickknacks and then we're getting some popcorn, guys. Disney popcorn. We're getting the red hot candy popcorn and it looks like anger from inside out. Look at the size of this, by the way. Look at the size of this. At first, I thought this was going to be like a Takis, Hot Cheetos type popcorn, but it's actually like a candy coated one. So I'm trying to figure out if this is like spicy or if it's just red in color. I'll test these out in just a little bit as well and then I'll let you guys know in the comments. But this is really nice and it's freaking huge. There's still one, two, three, four, five, at least five or six more items to go. The next thing that I'm pulling... <sighs> the next thing that I'm pulling out is a pin. You guys already know how I feel about pins. I'm obsessed with pins. And by the way, I have two pin videos coming up. I've been getting so many questions on whether or not I'm doing them anymore. I am. They're just very expensive to film and I needed to like save up a little bit of money. But I do have two mystery pin unboxing review hauls coming up very, very soon. So stay tuned to that. This is the most gorgeous pin I've ever seen. This is a Toy Story Land pin. A brand new Toy Story Land pin. It is silver. I don't know what that means money wise. It looks like it's at least $15 because this pin is, this pin is nice. But it is a Toy Story Land pin and we have Woody. We don't have Buzz, but we have the Penguin. We have the Aliens. We have Wheezy. We have Rex. We have Jesse. Oh my god, this is this is easily my new favorite pin. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I love this. Gifts from Mickey is crushing it right now. I hope you guys understand why I say that they're like the best in the game. These boxes just get better and better every single time that I open them. The next thing that I am pulling out, are you freaking kidding me? We are getting a Disney Alex and Ani. If you guys have ever purchased an Alex and Ani in the parks, they're like forty dollars they're usually like thirty eight dollars and ninety nine cents and upwards of like a hundred dollars depending on which bracelet or which bangle you get we are getting a mickey alex and ani i've never in all of the years that i've been doing disney unboxings i have never seen an alex and ani in any subscription service so this is definitely taking it to the next level i love this it says mickey in like a little mickey hat I have one more item that is in bubble wrap, so I'm going to try to open this up quickly and see what is inside. It looks like it is a mug. It is a mug. It is a mug that says Vins de France. So this is a mug most likely from the France Pavilion in Epcot. So nice to have. The next item is in this jewelry box, so one would assume it is a jewelry item. And one would assume wrong. It is not a jewelry item. It is actually a bunch of pressed pennies and no I'm not a magician she put some tape on the back of them so I'm just taping it to my finger I'm not like doing any crazy witchcraft right now to have them stick to my fingers but I got a bunch of different prep oh my god these are all pressed pennies but there's a theme to these these are all Hollywood Tower of Terror pressed pennies are you freaking joking me this is my favorite ride in Hollywood Studios. It used to be Midway Mania. It's still up there, 
but I'm such a Halloween freak and such like a horror freak that Tower of Terror holds such a special place in my heart. And now I have a bunch of pressed pennies. This is so cool. We're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pressed pennies. And one of them is Stitch, Stitch Bellhop. Yes. <laughs> We're down to our last three items in this box. The third to last item that I'm pulling out is a pair of socks, but they're not just any socks. These are cool socks. So we have a bunch of characters in the front and then it looks like we have a bunch of villains in the back. So I think we have like heroes on this side and villains on the back side. I have to look a little bit closer to see if that is true, but we have Mother Gothel, we have Ursula, we have Hades, we have Gaston on this side. On this side, we have Flounder, we have Olaf, we have the Genie, and so much more. These are so cool. It reminds me so much of those shirts that you can only get in Tokyo Disney. It's like the character shirts where they put a bunch of characters like all over the shirt. So this is what it reminds me of, only in sock form. As promised, I'm saving my favorite item for last. So let's move on to the second to last item, which is another Toy Story item. It is a canvas bag and it says squad goals on it. Squad goals. And then you have the silhouette of Woody, Buzz, and Jesse. And then squad goals looks like the title of Toy Story. <sighs> My teaching game just got so strong. I am absolutely using this when I go back into my classroom. My students get a kick out of all the bags that I bring in because they're always Disney related and they're always 99.9% .9 of the time from Gifts from Mickey. She always adds in a bag. I don't know if that's just something that the subscription service always does or something that I always get, but I always get a bag in my box and this bag is such good quality and so adorable. Like this matches my aesthetic for life all day, every day. And last but not least, are you guys ready for it? Are you ready for it? Three, two, one. It's a Mickey Mouse balloon popcorn container. Look at this. I've seen these all over Instagram, but I don't think that they sell these in Walt Disney World, or at least I've never seen them in Walt Disney World. I think these are just from like Disneyland, so I have no idea how she got her hands on one of these, but I love it. I've wanted one of these for so long, not even to put popcorn in it, literally just to decorate one of my Disney inspired rooms. I love it so, so much. And that is it. That is everything that I received in the Gifts from Mickey box. I am blown away. This was hands down the best box that I've ever received from any Disney subscription service out there ever. They knocked this one right out of the park grand slam well done gifts from mickey if you guys like this box and again would like to get one for yourself this one was the palace box but they do have a bunch of different boxes that matches your price range and your style so i'll put that link in the description below along with a coupon code to save you a little bit of money next up in this haul i almost forgot to mention the shirt that i'm wearing right here right now i just went to boston massachusetts with adam's family and we went to faneuil hall and they had a unique low i believe that's how you pronounce it they have one in boston they have one in disney springs they have some all over the united states but they did a partnership with disney and they have this licensed mickey mouse donut shirt and it was only 15 dollars. so i'm obsessed with it to say the least it is a pink frosted sprinkled disney donut mickey head shirt it's the best sentence i think i've ever said in my entire life next up is a package from a company that i know and love very very much so the company is socket to me i'm sure you guys have heard of their brand before they are known for like super high quality over the top bright and colorfully designed socks and i just love them so i was more than happy to jump on board with that partnership. They sent me a bunch that are Disney inspired. They don't sell Disney licensed socks on their website, but they have some Disney inspired socks that I got to pick out that mean a lot to me. So I'm just gonna open that up and show you the very first pair of socks that I picked out. Look how cute these are. They're like pink princess inspired. We have the castle, we have the clock, 
kind of looks like Cinderella running away with the shoe up top there. We have again a clock. We have another little person standing by a fireplace. We have the pumpkin carriage over here. They're just, they're, they're very well made socks and they're very, very reasonably priced. So I love them. This is the first pair. The next pair that I picked out, no shame in my game. I low key picked these out. I'm going to take this off so I can show you. So I could wear these on the hub grass when I go to Disney on my upcoming trip and take a picture in them. Burgers and fries. So I want to take a picture on the hub grass with me eating burgers and fries while wearing these burger and fry socks. Yes, okay, that's what's happening. Next up, I picked up another pair of their no-show socks. So these are perfect if you're wearing like low-rise shoes or low-rise sneakers like Converse's or Vans or anything of that nature. These are just so cute. They have like little rainbows on them and they have a sun, they have some like rain. It's just, they're really, really cute socks. When I look at these, I just like instantly get happier. It's just like a bright pair of socks to brighten your mood. So this is the next pair. Next up, I bought these for teaching. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm a teacher, and you know that one thing that I love to do in the classroom is to wear like crazy colorful, crazy designed socks. So when my students see them, they get a kick out of them. So these are just like rainbow printed. They're just like rainbow stripe, but I think they'll be really fun for my classroom. And the final pair that I picked out, I don't know, these just really remind me of Disney for some reason. Whenever I think about Disney, I just think of like all the colors and I think of Main Street and the cotton candy. And these kind of reminded me of cotton candy. As weird as that sounds, it just reminds me of cotton candy. And then the rainbow just reminds me of happiness. If you liked any of the socks that I just showed you and you would like to get a pair for yourself, I will link the website in the description below along with a coupon code if I have one. I don't have one at the moment, but I will reach back out to the company and see if they will provide me with a coupon code for my viewers to save some money off of their website. We are now going to move on to some products that were sent to my PO box. The first product is by Miko Creations. Guys, I got a personalized hard plastic Starbucks tumbler. This is so cute. So it has the castle over here and it looks holographic. And then right over here, it says Miss Alley Cakes. I will link, I keep saying this, I sound like a broken record. I know it sounds so annoying. From here on out, any of the products that I am showcasing, I will link them in the description below. So if you guys like anything that you're seeing, just check the description. Let's try that again. Maybe I can learn how to speak this time. Like I was saying, if you like anything that I am showcasing in this video, I will just put it all right in the description. So just go right to the description, scroll down, find the product that you like and just click the website if you are interested in getting it. It's getting kind of scary outside right now guys. I'm using natural lighting so all my windows are propped open and it looks like a storm is rolling on through. It looks very dreary and very windy outside so I apologize if it gets a little bit noisy. I feel like it's going to start thunderstorming any minute and I apologize if the lighting is kind of getting a little yellowish or kind of like having that orange tint. I'm using again a lot of natural lighting and it's not looking so pretty outside so we're just going to keep on keeping on get through this video hopefully before the storm comes on through. The next thing that was sent to my PO box was some artwork by Pretty Bow Studio. You guys are talented like there are some talented freaking people out there. Look at this. This is Disney Princess meets Vogue meets Runway. So she has like postcards, she has cards, she has posters, she has so many different things on her website. I'm blown away. So this is the first one that she sent me. I'm gonna save my favorite for last. The next one is a girl in a tutu with stiletto bow shoes holding macarons with a bun. Everything about this picture makes me so, so happy. I've been waiting to film this video for so long so I can finally put all of these prints on my gallery wall in my Disney themed office. Look at how cute these are. I am obsessed. Next up, me. If this dog was a pit bull, me all day, especially when I had my red curly hair. It is a girl in a tutu. Again, she's standing in some like mud and she's holding her dog. Me all day. And finally. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. 
Yes, girl. Look at this Belle inspired print. It looks like Belle. She's holding a rose. She's wearing the beautiful yellow gown. This one, I know exactly where it's going to be going in my Disney themed office, right on my gallery wall. And you guys will see it very, very soon. That room's under like some construction right now. That's why I haven't been filming in there. But once it's all said and done, you will see this poster loud and proud on my wall. Best poster ever. I picked up a couple of items off of the walmart.com website. They're all pretty random when you put them all together. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Individually, they're really awesome, but when you look at them as a whole, you're like, Allison, what were you even thinking? The first thing that I picked up is this Toy Story t-shirt. It is everything. I am living for it. It has all of the OG Toy Story characters. It's actually a boy's size extra large, so I'm gonna wear it like a little bit oversized, but I plan on cutting and cropping the bottom off and wearing it with a pair of ripped jean shorts. This was only $6. Again, I am living for this t-shirt. Next thing that I purchased was a pair of super extra in your face sparkly glitter silver sneakers. I have seen these for upwards of like hundreds of dollars. I got these for $5.87 at Walmart. Like so cheap, so beautiful, definitely not basic at all. These are like screaming extra and I plan on wearing these in my upcoming trip to Walt Disney World. Next thing that I purchased is a goofy movie. This was one of my favorite movies growing up. My sister and I used to watch this all the time. It was only $5 on the website, so I had to pick it up for my collection. I'm gonna probably watch it immediately after filming this video. And the last two things that I purchased, I believe these are both from Walmart. I have like everything in a pile. I know that this one is from Walmart, but this one might be from Hot Topic. Regardless, I bought a couple of keyring figural Disney mystery sets. Am I 30 or am I three? I'm a little bit of both. So we're gonna open these up right now. The first one is series five. It has like the alien, it has Pumbaa, it has Woody, it has Sven, Belle, Scrump, Dory, Mrs. Potts. I want all of them, but I really want Mrs. Potts, Belle, or the alien. So let's open on up and see what I am getting. I got Scrump, which is my favorite character. I love Scrump so much, but I already have this one. What a bummer. I'll add this into like an upcoming giveaway, so it will go to use, but I really wanted the aliens. That is okay. We're gonna move on to this set, which I've actually only opened this one up once with my niece before, and I got Belle. So as long as I don't get Belle, I'll be happy. In this one, you can get Mulan, John Smith, Jasmine, Prince Aladdin, Cinderella, Prince Charming, Ariel, Prince Eric, Belle, The Beast, or two exclusives, which I'm not really sure who the exclusives are. I do have Belle, which I got really lucky. So I want The Beast so I can have the collection. If this is Belle again, no, it's not, it's Ariel. Oh, it's Ariel in her pink dress. She looks really cute. Okay, I'm happy with this one. Next up, I purchased some items off of the Loungefly website. And let me tell you a little something about Loungefly. They have been stepping their game up so hard and their game was already so strong to begin with. I found some Disney food inspired coin purses on their website and my heart melted with happiness. I actually picked two of them up. The first one that I picked up is this Minnie Mouse inspired cupcake with a polka dot bow. <laughs> it's so, so, so cute. Is my camera focusing? I can't tell. This is so cute. So it's really large in the back. I actually plan on using this kind of more as a wallet rather than a coin purse. I'm gonna be putting my credit cards in here, my spare change, my spare dollar bills, just pretty much anything that will fit in here. I'm gonna definitely be using this one more as a wallet. This next one, I don't even know if I'm gonna use it period because it is just so cute and I wanna use it more as decoration rather than an actual coin purse. It is a Mickey Mouse scoop of ice cream on top of a Mickey Mouse cone. 
look at this thing it has like a little cherry on top the details on both of these are like superb they're perfect they're so well made super high quality i cannot wait to wear these in the parks maybe not so much this one because this one's most likely just going to stay in my office but i can't wait to wear this one in the parks and last but not least, I ordered some items off of the Hot Topic website. I also did order some items off of the Cakeworthy website, but I'm just now noticing that they did not arrive in time for this video. So I'll do like a quick little overlay of the three items that I ordered off of the Cakeworthy website and then show you the last two physical items that I have here from Hot Topic. I ordered again three items off of the Cakeworthy website. The first one is right here. It is a Mickey Mouse baseball cap. I'm sure you've seen these all over Instagram. The next thing that I ordered is right here. It is a graphic tee that says, I like my food Mickey shaped. I think it is going to look so cute in pictures with that Mickey Mouse baseball cap. And the final item that I ordered off of the Cakeworthy website is right here. It is a pin for my Beauty and the Beast collection and it's basically just the beast outside. I think he's either holding some flowers or he's playing with some birds. And just like that, we are down to our final two items in this haul. Just give yourself a round of applause if you have made it this far. You are the real MVP. The final two items, again, come from Hot Topic. And the first item is this Aladdin Magic Carpet Tapestry or Tapestry, however you pronounce that word, throw. So you can use this as a blanket. You can use it as a wall hang. You can use it as a carpet. You can use it as a rug. I'm going to be using this most likely as a throw slash rug. I might use this in my office as a rug to go right in the center, but I also might use this as a little like blanket to cuddle up with at night. So I'm going to give you a little up close view of what it looks like here on the picture. And then I'll open it up. I don't know how much I can show in this tiny little frame, but I'll show you what it looks like. I love it so much. I saw this on the Hot Topic website and I was like, yup, I need to have that. So I'm going to show you just like a tiny little snippet of what it looks like. Ah! It's so cute. It's not super cuddly, so I most likely will not be using this as a throw blanket, but I'm going to probably use this as a rug to go in my office. And last but not least, the final item in this haul also happens to be my favorite item in this haul. I picked up an alien onesie. An alien freaking onesie. I have searched the internet high and low for this bad boy and I couldn't find them any cheaper than $75. They were like $75, $100. I've seen them for like $125 on some website and I was like, your girl is not spending that much money. I found this on the Hot Topic website for $50, but I didn't spend $50 because I was able to get 20% off because Hot Topic is always running promotional deals. So I was able to get 20% off, which gave me $10 off and I was able to get this for $40. Look how cute. It is a one size fits most and I plan on wearing this in Disney to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and then Adam is planning on wearing the shirt that Sid wears in Toy Story and we're going to be like Sid and the alien. <laughs> yes. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know your thought in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you enjoy my videos. I love you guys to the moon and back. I thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all of your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye guys.